I am Nexus. Oh, 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 oh. What's up, YouTube? Mr. Eleven Eighty Five coming at you. Do a quick ROM review on the Liquid Smooth ROM for the Galaxy Nexus Verizon version. As you can see, this is build date January twenty fifth. It's version two point one. It's the beta build three point two. This one is AOS AOSP ROM, but the kernel version is from Cyanogen Mod, um, which can't be overclocked with this particular kernel. Um, okay, so let's get into it. So, um, as you can see, navigation buttons on the bottom are blue, so there is a lot of customization with this ROM. And I'll just run through a couple things um, just off the list of, of what's customizable. I'll show you a few of my favorites, and then uh, in the link, you'll be able to, in the description below, you'll be able to find the link to go grab the, the ROM and try it out for yourself. So, now's the time for me to flash over another ROM, so I want to give you the review on this one. As you can see up top, I have my battery, my time, everything blue, blue. Uh, most of it comes already themed blue with the Liquid Smooth ROM, like you can see messages is blue. Um, the navigation bar is not. Something else you probably notice is my notification bar and my uh, where my navigation buttons are. There is no blackness, so it's, it hasn't. It's, it's transparent, which is one of the cool features. But just a couple things. Um, there are some speed enhancements, so it's very buttery smooth with Jelly Bean Project Butter. Uh, the lock screen is highly customizable. Um, as you can see, I have a lock code on mine. I did this for when I'm at work, so it doesn't get unlocked, and um, the brightness runs out and all that fun stuff. But going back to that lock screen, you can add more screens. You can access Google Now from the lock screen. Obviously you saw that you can add a key lock, you can add a slider, you can add the basic slider. Like I said, I just have a quick little number lock so I can make sure my phone doesn't run out of battery by cutting on in my pocket. Um, going into settings, you can see you have lock screen for your liquid splasher, lock screen, navigation, performance, power menu, power widgets, quick settings, status bar, and themes. So, all that's highly customizable. Navigation is where you come in here and change the glow, the size of your uh, navigation buttons. Um, you can en enableize them, and I believe you can actually just run without them. Actually, excuse me, I'm wrong about that. Uh, it won't let you run without them. But as you can see, it's black down there now. Now I'll enable them, and they have the transparent background. So maybe that setting doesn't truly work you can't disable the navigation bar but it's good this ROM obviously is going to be for other phones that have um, capacitive touch buttons on the actual phone itself uh, so you can do the nav, nav bar height which I always change I always make it small I run 36 instead of the default 48 you can see the big difference see how much bigger the buttons are and I just like more screen real estate so put that right back to 36. I think much smaller I mean oh actually you can physically cut them off but now we have no way of going home. Let's see if we can navigate without them. Um, I don't know how to. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um, we are in a predicament. We'll go back to settings. And I want to cut them back on, obviously, because um, I can't navigate without them. So, navigation bar height, and we'll cut them back on, which brings them back. So, as you can see with a phone like the Galaxy Nexus, without these buttons, you really can't do much. So, you can change the glow, the height, the height and landscape. Uh, the button transparency so you can kind of make them disappear, come back, which is really cool. Um, this configure widgets, I haven't figured this out yet. Once I do, I will talk about it more on these ROM reviews, but it's got something to do with um, being able to add widgets to your navigation bar. I don't know. Um, themes, status bar, this is where you can customize status bar a little bit. Um, as you can see, I have mine with the AMPM up there. It's smaller. You can make it bigger. You can make it not there. We'll take none away so you just have the time. Brightness control, I have, if you touch up here, you can actually control, I'll do this two-handedly, 
you can control the brightness by just sliding your finger back and forth, which is pretty pretty convenient. That way you don't have to go all the way into your to your button. Especially, I mean, the phone isn't huge, but it's still big enough that it sometimes can be hard to reach all the way across. Notification count, brightness control, those are some mods that you can play with there. Power menu. I like the expandable desktop because if you're running an app that doesn't move the navigation buttons away, you can kind of make that happen. So I'll show you on the lock screen or on the power button. Expanded desktop and I got rid of the navigation bar and the notification bar. And you can just hit the power button and bring them right back. So cool little feature. I appreciate that so when I'm watching a video um, I can do all that. As you can see I have Wi-Fi AP um, widget. I have the torch widget there which works um, and those are all found in quick settings and actually this ROM gives you the option of having power widgets. I don't have them enabled but that's where you can just pull down and these were the ROMs before Android 4.2 had the the quick widgets. Um, these are just the ones that you could have up there in your navigation bar. Um, let's see, performance, you can throttle it back to save battery. Um, it does not, excuse me, it does not go higher than 1200 megahertz. Um, so this kernel, like I said, is not overclocked, but there are tons of kernels out there. Um, I'm not super savvy on which ones work great with which, ROM, which ROMs, but definitely check out the XDA site and there's all kinds of information. Um, but that's about it. Um, if you have any questions about this ROM, definitely shoot me a message. Um, the way I like doing it, I like making it my daily driver, playing with it for a couple weeks, and then doing a review on it so I can answer questions so I can know a little bit about it. Um, but this is the Liquid Smooth version 2.1. It's still in beta 3.2. I really like it. The battery life has been really good. Um, a lot of ROMs, especially on this phone, with the 1800 mega, um, the 1800. I forgot the word. But anyways, the smaller battery that comes with the Galaxy Nexus, it doesn't last very long. So, really excited about this ROM that having a longer battery life. I don't believe. I think the battery might have dropped one percent since I've done this video, and the brightness is cranked all the way up. So. Anyways, that's it guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Glad to be back doing videos. And uh, if you have any ROMs that you want me to review that you see for the Galaxy Nexus or the Nexus 7, uh, let me know. If you have a phone that you want to see reviewed coming out for Verizon soon, I'm going to be getting two new phones from Verizon. I didn't get the Note 2 just because there was a lot of information out there on it. And um, there's no reason to have 17 videos on the same ROM. So want to get something new um, so hopefully the next thing that comes out after um, World Mobile the next big uh, tech conference um, I'll get something then so guys have a great one give a big thumbs up if you like this video subscribe like thank you guys so much and